I'm gonna show you how to draw a monoline logo really fast. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer, okay? And then I'm gonna create some guides, right? So I'm gonna hit Command R for rulers. I'm gonna drop it down so I can snap it right around there. So I'm gonna establish the X height and the baseline. And I also wanna draw now the angle. And I'm gonna assume that the H is going to be what my letter form is gonna be based on. I'm gonna use the pen tool here. And I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with how far out I draw this. So I'm gonna draw it like right there, okay? I'm gonna overshoot a little bit. <clears throat> I, I think I got lucky and it actually is kind of close, All right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna duplicate it over here, and that theoretically is the width of one letter, the letter H. Now, as we can see with a lot of these script faces, there's a lot of variance in between each letter. They're not always the same, and they don't have to be. But for what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make them the same. So what I do is I'll drag these over and hold on Option and Shift and kind of line it up there. And I drag this over, and that'll be my N. So I'm straddling the line there. I noticed the way I drew my N is a little bit narrower than my H, and it shouldn't be, because the letter N is the exact same letter as the letter H, except for with a shorter stroke, okay? I also notice now the K is too tight to this, so I'll have to fix that later. So I'll duplicate this out and say, make it right around here somewhere. So I have my guides. Now I'm gonna save this little guy, and bring it over here, okay? I'm gonna select all these things and hit Command-5 and turn them to guides. There's this guy. I'm gonna bring this one back, holding on Option to establish this right here. And the emphasis of the O should be right around here, or the circle. Here we go, we're gonna jump into it. Pen tool, boom. And I'm gonna drop it right there. Okay, now since I've drawn this, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with nothing. Put the stroke, that's fine. I'm gonna bump up the stroke a little bit. Or I can use my mouse wheel and just click it out. It looks like right around there somewhere. There. And then if you click on this thing on the properties panel, you can put a cap on it, so that'll round off the cap. And we're we're off to the races, right? Now I need to draw this part. This is the hard part to draw. I'm gonna drag up and I'm gonna follow that angle. You see that? That's critical. Then I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna draw it across. I'm gonna pick a point here and draw, drag it down on that angle. You see that right there? I'm gonna come back over and make, I'm gonna click. It has to be a straight line for a little bit. Not a lot. I'm gonna drag down that same angle. I'm gonna go over here, overshoot a little bit, drag across, and then I'm gonna go over here and hit it on the same angle. And I've drawn the letter H. So now we have to make adjustments. Like, do I want it to turn here? What do I want it to do, right? It looks better like that, probably, right? Let, let me hide the guides, okay? There's a little funkiness going on here. There really is. Uh, there's a little straight transition and then it, it comes back out. So if it looks funky, it's because there's not enough of a handle and there's a kink in the line. So you have to just make sure that there's no kink because I don't like, I'm not kinky. Okay, and you just bring it out a little bit and then it smoothed it out. I just drew the letter H and the letter N at the same time. So I can just drag that out over here, snap it to this point here, right? Then all I need to do is take this thing and bring it down to where it needs to be. There's my N, okay? It should be the same letter. Maybe I wanna take this part and drag it over here to create that part of the A. Because it gives me that part. And so what I have to do is then I have to get rid of some of this. I'm gonna get rid of this part right there. The neat part of this is if you take these parts that are drawn once and you draw it correctly, assuming that I drew it correctly, you can just cheat and bring this up. I'm gonna hide this right now, Command-3. How am I gonna draw this? I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use an ellipse. If you hit the letter L, I'm gonna move that top point of the O right there on, let me nudge it over, right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the skew tool, okay, and I'm gonna put an anchor Where's my skew? Shear tool. Put the anchor right there. Click right there. I'm gonna grab this point. I'm gonna move it over. And it should be like that. Because the emphasis is on that diagonal line. I'm gonna scooch this out a little bit. The bowl. Just a little bit. Because I want it to be a little rounder. I'm gonna just move it over to the right. I'm gonna find the right spot for it. Boom. I'm gonna bring this over. 
right there. And I got some problems here. I'll fix that later. That's not important. And we can draw the rest of this. So I'm going to hide this. Any lines? <laughs> the line from the H. Bring this it over. Line? Yeah, drag it over. So I'm going to go into Command K. I'm going to make sure this is turned off. Scale stroke and effects. I do not want to scale the stroke and effects, okay? So first of all, here's a little quick cheat here. I'm going to scale it down. So I'm going to drag towards it and hold on Shift. I'm going to make that line shorter because ultimately this starts the curve here and this starts the curve right here. Mm -hmm. You want to try and draw this with an ellipse? Yes. Okay. So I can just borrow this. No, I don't want to draw it. I'll, I'll just use a new one. Something like that, Molly? Yeah. Now you skew it. Okay. I'll use the skewing tool, wherever that is. That's not it. It's here. You want me to shear it? Yeah. Like that? Yes. Now, now what are we going to do here? You need to um, draw just with the pen tool the connect to it. From connect the to line it from here, down have. from here, yeah. up to here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you a different way to do this. Okay. Okay, you take this and you use the eraser scissor knife scissor tool, C. You cut it? You cut it right there. Just click on that point. That separates the two points, okay? okay? Now I can move that point independently of the other point. Okay. So I can move this down if I wanted to, and I'm gonna move this over. So far so good? Yeah. Dude, we got some really nasty stuff going on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this first. I'm gonna drag over it, right? And then I'm gonna drag down. Remember, we drag in the direction that the arc is going, okay? This feels funky because the, the handle needs to be longer. If it gets kinky, we need to drag it, the handles longer. Okay, I see some funny things happening up here though. Okay, now this has to line up with this. And so this is where our guides come in really handy. Okay, so this is not off the line, so I need to move it onto the line for right now. I'm gonna take this whole thing and move it over as well. Now this handle has to be moving in the direction of this grid line okay. for it to, to connect, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these two points I'm going to command option J, which averages them together. Hit OK, right? So they're now on top of each other, literally on top of each other. And I'm going to move it and I'm going to hit command J now. And now they're joined together. So they can't be broken apart now. Got it. Okay. Now we can finesse this a little bit. Um, if we don't like the, the way this looks, we can move it out to wherever it is. That doesn't matter. It's not that critical because if it looks smooth, it's better that it looks smooth than it actually follow our original drawing. I'm gonna move this line up because I want to begin this transition. So we can do this thing in the same way. Draw another circle, and here we go. And you're done, look at that. Pretty much. <laughs> so there's a couple ways to handle this. Where's, where does it finish? Okay, it finishes right around there. So what I'm gonna do is, Cut it. I'm gonna use the pen tool on my add anchor point right around here. So I'm gonna hit command Y to look at it. So I'm gonna end it right there, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna delete that part. A couple different ah. techniques here, right? Take this, move it on to that line. Remember, I need to wow. orient this line on that same grid point, that axis. So establishing that axis is really important. Now you guys can see why it's so important, right? Yeah, and now, now command option J. I can take this up here, okay? Command option J, both. Command, command J. J. You got it. So nice. then I can take this, drag it down, I'm gonna drag this over, holding on shift a little bit, to get that transition to work the way that I originally had planned. And voila. You see how easy it is to draw? 